The Vietnam War was a war unlike any other. Active involvement from the US forces starting in 1954, though for decades both North and South Vietnam have been in constant conflict politically between democracy and communist agenda. The Battle of Dien Phien Phu was the first Indochina war between the French and the Viet Minh. Communist victory meant power to the North Vietnamese. The Geneva Conference of 1954 had divided Vietnam to North and South. The split of North and South Vietnam meant different political ideology though a shared intention of Vietnamese unity. War officially broke out in 1959, when North military infiltrated the South, thus causing havoc in South Vietnam. 1963, the assassination of Diem and the Gulf of Tonkin incident sparked retaliation and war towards the North Vietnam. US destroyer warships were attacked by the communist torpedo ships. The counter-attack leading to bombing raids, Operation Rolling Thunder and troops being dispersed within Vietnam 1965. Johnson would use this incident to acquire the power to make war in Vietnam whenever and however he would choose. G'day copper. Hey mate, how are the plantation explorations going? Good. I want this war to end. Me too. I want to go home. Where'd that come from? Hey, you good? You alive? The Battle of Long Tan marked one of the most commemorable and valiant battles immortalized in the Anzac legend and spirit. Although they were severely outnumbered, they still bravely fought and ended up taking home the victory, providing South Vietnam more edge in the war. On August 18, 1966, 150 Australian soldiers along with a three-man New Zealand artillery team entered the Long Tan rubber plantations. The Viet Cong combined fighters numbering between 1,500 and 2,500 soldiers fired at the Australians in all directions. This fierce battle massacred only 18 casualties and 24 wounded. On the other hand, 245 Viet Cong were killed and 350 were wounded. The Tet Offensive and Khe Sanh are closely tied together, being a mission the Communists had launched to weaken US forces. On January the 21st, 1968, close to 85,000 People's Army of Vietnam troops had made use of the Tet period to initiate massive artillery bombardments to US Marine garrisons, and simultaneously attacked over 100 cities in Vietnam. The Tet Offensive on January 30th was a major battle that broadcast over home fronts, which sparked stigma and anti-war movement to increase. On the TVs of many were the violent antics of warfare. Over 3,000 Americans had died, bodies of innocent residents scattered, specifically in Hu and Saigon. Disturbing imagery gave much increase to anti-war movement. This event meant the weakening of the Communist Party and subsequently to the US. March 16, 1968, Operation Pinkville was held, slaughtering over 500 villagers who have no resistance to the attack. The Quang Nai region was heavily rumored to be a Viet Cong guerrilla, though despite lack of resistance, still destroyed, raped, burned, and killed villagers, shot almost immediately after being rounded up. William Kelly, a young soldier, was mainly responsible to, for the direct attacks to the villagers, and aftermath being a life sentence to prison. Though the intervention of Hugh Thompson meant the end, public opinion cried of outrage, specifically due to the cover-ups to shield the U.S. reputation and failed to deceive the public. The My Lai Massacre, the truth revealed to the public post, the anti-war movements become hostile. 1968, April 2nd, in Germany, department stores were stopped. On August 28th, violent clashes in Chicago and riots had increased. The My Lai Massacre had op opened the eyes of many in the Vietnam War and to the lack of the humanity of the U.S. military. Stop the war! Stop the war! Stop the war! We will not stop participating in the war and we will United keep fighting. I have to stop the damn war! We refuse to be turned into killers and corpses for a war that is not ours. The war initiated moratorium marches against the Vietnam War back in the home front of America. The public despised America's involvement in the war and rebelled to force American troops to withdraw. The American government were tough in position and reaffirmed them with a policy known as Vietnamization. The intention of this policy was to slowly withdraw American forces out of the war while transferring their responsibility and war effort to the South Vietnam government. This policy went by a program to expand, equip and train South Vietnamese forces 
and assign them to an ever-increasing combat role, at the same time steadily reducing the number of US combat troops. This policy was raised in 1969, commencing with over 500,000 American troops in the war, and by 1972, only 69,000 American soldiers remained in Vietnam. I want to be in. I, I have no interest in killing people nor in being killed. The fall of Saigon was the last event of war that took place, and it was a very significant one. The fall of Saigon meant the fall of South Vietnam and the capital was overrun by the People's Army of Vietnam and Viet Cong on the 30th of April 1975. The North Vietnamese have won the war using guerrilla tactics. January 27th, 1973, America signed the Paris Peace Accords to bring peace and end the Vietnam War. This meant that all the troops from the US were sent back home. Although of America's withdrawal, the war didn't conclude until Saigon was captured and liberated. The Viet Cong and the People's Army of Vietnam purged through Saigon for the next three years to finally come out as the victors on April 30th, 1975. 30th of April, 1975 was the end of Project Frequent Wind, which meant the return of all the soldiers, at-risk Vietnamese civilians, and other disadvantaged people. The fall of Saigon meant victory to the People's Army of Vietnam, North Vietnam had secured Saigon and renamed it to Ho Chi Minh. 250,000 South Vietnamese soldiers lost their lives fighting for Vietnam. It was a huge loss for the U.S. Having trained them though, Vietnamization efforts were still lost. Though a loss, the Vietnam nation was finally unified. Now declaring itself as a socialist republic in 1976, the nation's economy improved and so did their diplomatic relations with the U.S. in the 1990s. The homecoming wasn't the best for the U.S. nation. The war costed more than $120 billion in the conflict since 1965 to 73. Overall, the Vietnam War ended with unity in Vietnam, but was a sorry mistake to the U.S. Like the anti-war protests, the military had no place in their battle. The debt of 58,200 U.S. troops were inscribed and memorials were made. This to signify their loss in the war.